Hi there, this is Mark and I'm going to give you a review of these uh, Nankang tyres. I've had these for 13,000 miles which is about 21,000 kilometres and uh, I'm very impressed with them so I wanted to put a review up about them. Uh, these Nankangs are 285, 45, R19 and if you don't know what those numbers mean the 285 is actually the width of the tyre if you look across here from side to side the width of the tyre on this one is 285 and the 45 is a percentage so the, the wall height here is 45% of the width of the tyre and then the R19 uh, 19 is the um, rim size so from uh, height of the uh, of the rim itself and then over here you've got your speed rating 107V you can look that up on the internet and um, it'll tell you how many kilometers or miles an hour that converts to is what the tire is happy to handle and M&S I bought these tires particularly because they were M&S I lived in Germany for quite a few years and they would um, refer to that as uh, Musch und Schnee uh, we call it mud and snow uh, these tires are made with a softer compound rubber than a normal tire anything that's got the M&S on it and what that means is that the tire will grip better uh, I also had a little Suzuki four-wheel drive and it had M&S road tires on it and uh, again it was really good climbing up rocks and surfaces like that it would hang on really well because the um, tire compound was actually softer uh, the downside is that um, because it's a softer compound rubber it will wear out a little bit quicker so you get a bit of extra performance uh, and they just don't wear quite as long now this tread here is you know really good and healthy you can look in there there's some um, plenty of tread uh, these tires start out with um, about 10 30 seconds of an inch and I just had these checked uh, last week at the tire store and they have 8 30 seconds of an inch left so they've still got heaps and heaps of life and tread in them uh, but I just wanted to put a report up because I actually drove a car these were on a, um, a four, an all-wheel drive uh, BMW X5 and I drove it from California across to Denver in January so that involved lots of mountain passes and snow uh, and then we spent some time up in the mountains in Denver and we've driven um, to the mountains here as well but I just wanted because these are a lot cheaper and the uh, tire store that put them on really wasn't too sure but I had, a, I had some experience with them before and I was very very happy with them again on a, on a BMW X5 that time in Australia so around town, these tires, I'm absolutely happy with them. No problem at all on the highway, they're brilliant, really, really good. Uh, and in the snow, uh, when we got to those situations, again, there's a good aggressive ted, tread. This is the SP5, and that actually determines the model of the tire. It's a Surpax SP5. That determines the tread. I think there's a seven and a nine with Nankang as well. And that has a less aggressive tread. Um, so they have them for different purposes, but just wanted to put up a review of this tire because I've had such a good run with it I've actually now replaced the front tires with exactly the same tires and uh, They were a, a, a huge margin cheaper than the other tires and um, I've just had a really really good run with these and extremely happy so There's a good recommendation give it a go and um, put down in the comments if you've had any different experience